rock steady at King of the Pit TV. Now, bless now, people. Don't forget the rest now. We're listening to Melvin's Houdini is the record. This one's entitled Going Blind. It's track number four of 13. Lego! On this record, it seems we've got all the long songs bar the last song at the front. So from track number six, the songs reduce quite steeply in song length. Uh, apart from 13, which is 10 minutes. But, you know, in 90s, um, you know, physical copy fashion, perhaps it's a secret track of sorts. What was that line? And I know how it's to be. And I know how it's to be. There is nothing more for you and I. There is nothing more for you and I. Why can't it just be for you and me? And just create a fantastic, nice and easy rhyming scheme. It kind of felt a bit jarring that, you know. It's cold tonight, people. There it is again. Have you seen how long the little boy's arm is? Unless the- oh, that'll be the girl's arm, won't it? I thought it was the boy's arm connecting from the shoulder all the way down to the grass.
drenched in fuzz. The um, guitar solo was pretty cool. Hitting them real high register harmonics like that was quite cool, quite unique of a sound. I enjoyed that. I had that little issue with the lyrical content though. I guess you could be in two minds. Purely is one person might want it perfecting because it feels a little bit jarring. Whereas some people like the fact that it does catch your attention, uh, maybe on a subconscious basis as opposed to a conscious one generally. I mean, I'm a songwriter, so I listen out to these sort of things. Um, and I, I, I sort of approach um, predictability to be a positive in songwriting, whereas a creative might look at something completely different. Well, why would I want it to be predictable? You know, I want it to be different. So that was interesting. That was going blind. Let's keep moving. We've got Honey Bucket coming up next, all right? At 3.4 million views. This is the most viewed one we've had so far. 